If you're not going to lose your weight, you're going to die before 30 years so. It was 2012 to 2013 was when I ballooned the biggest. I was actually 136 kilograms. I started getting into the lifestyle of drinking, clubbing, you know. And a lot of people were telling me that, hey, you know what, you put on weight. But we being young and rebellious, we just didn't care. It's like, so what, put on weight, I'm still having the time of my life. I tried to lose weight, but that night already I would have plans to go out and drink. And there was even an instance where I was getting ready to go for a wedding and I wore a shirt and I buttoned and I, I twisted and around the armpit area just tore. That tear in my shirt caused a big tear in my heart. One of the main turning points was I was walking down Yishun Park to go meet a friend. Uh, suddenly I had a very bad pain in my chest. It was extremely painful and I immediately just, I didn't know what to do, I went to the hospital. I took the weight and everything and the doctor actually told me this. If you're not going to lose your weight, you're going to die before 30 or so. It, it kind of hit me very badly at that point of time. It really hit me kind of badly. The, and this was right before army. So, of course, you know, you live the life of a king outside and suddenly you're going into army. Uh. It was very, very tough because I was considered the extreme obese. So, I didn't realize how big I was until I was sitting down in the auditorium and everyone around me was huge. I, it kind of hit me that, hey, you know what, I'm one of these guys as well. I used to train a lot. I was uh, booked out Saturday, means I come out on Friday night or Saturday morning. That morning, I go back home, I go run. Then before booking, also, I go run. Wow, I become like Xiao already because you put in so much effort, then you won't want to eat anything, you know, KFC. Then cannot touch any of those, you know, you touch, you are dead. Big chicken breast and broccoli, big chicken breast and broccoli. And every step that I took hurt my knees. Every time I run, it hurt my back. But those little hard work did pay off eventually. So at the end of my whole BMT, it was 89 kilograms. And I just wanted to go more. And I was looking for things to get myself even more tested. I joined a boxing gym near my house. So I went in, the first thing I told the coach, I remember, he said, oh, why you join boxing? I said, I want to fight. So he said, oh, are you sure you need at least a year? I said, can I fight in four months if I commit myself every day? He said, can. I said, okay, on. So I'll book out a bit earlier. I will go for training and I did this every day. I, I still remember there was a particular time where my coach suddenly came inside the room and said, Vicky, 1,000 push-ups. I'm like, hey, hey, you're joking, right? 1,000 push-ups? No, 1,000 push-ups. And I actually did 1,000 push-ups. And he said, this is the training. You need to break the barriers of your mind in order to go up there and fight. I trained and I trained. But the only thing that I was looking forward is I want to win the fight. I didn't want to lose my first fight. I was extremely nervous. Like, you're fighting, you know, this is like, guys are going to bash you up, you know. It's like total different, it's a total different feel, you know? So, fight day came. I guessed out within the second round. At the point of time when I guessed out, right, I, I swear to God, I wanted to give up. I wanted to raise my hand and tell the referee, you know what, I cannot do this shit. And I went into the corner and my coach said, what the hell are you doing? You know, da, 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 you know all the prep talk. But what really went through my mind, right, was the, the soreness, what I went through, the sacrifices I did, the up and down the Tana Mira. So I went in there the third round. I know my lungs have no more oxygen already. I don't know how the hell I breathe. But it was just all out. But I won. And I'm telling you, the feeling was as though I won a million dollars. It was my first ever proper victory. To me, Sculpt is a brand, or should I say, a community that was created just to change everybody's lives for the better. Not just physically, but mentally forging a strong character in everybody. Because the only competition in yourself is the person you see right in front of the mirror. To give them the belief, the hope, the faith that even you can do this. I have two hands and two legs and you have two hands and two legs. If I can do it, you can do it better than me. It's to lift each other up together as a team, as a community.